it's Mimi here and welcome to Geek Life Bowl. Since I'm sharing this video on April Fool's Day, I just had to do something slightly related to the holiday because it used to be one super fun day for me when I was a child. Stay till the end for new story time. In French, we call this day Poisson d'Avril, which literally translates April's fish. Here we used to stick paper fishes on our friends' or family's backs without them noticing. But I'm super curious to know what your April 1st traditions and anecdotes are. So lately, I've been watching a lot of Studio Ghibli animes, and I love Ponyo so much. And it's kind of a fish story, so Ponyo and April's fish kind of seem like a stretch. But really, I just needed an excuse to make those ramen. So have fun, and here we... <coughs> Check out the description box for the full list of materials. First, pick a small dipping bowl. This one comes from a cooking supply store in Chinatown. Then, paint it a light, slightly turquoise blue, matching the colors of the one in the anime. You will need to add about 2-4 to four layers, letting them dry before painting the next one. Then start painting some stretch raindrop shapes with red paint, followed by some smaller blue ones in between. Let it dry completely before adding a layer of glaze. Then add several layers of white paint to an M holder, then glaze it. Now for the egg, mix translucent and white clay. Then roll it and sculpt it into an oval egg shape. Put in the freezer for about 15 minutes, then cut it in half and smooth out the edges. Then poke a hole in the egg with a large rounded tool, then roll a small ball of yellow clay Mix with a lot of translucent and insert it in the hole. Then texture the yolk by making lines with your needle tool. For the onions, mix translucent clay with different shades of green, creating a marble effect. Then roll them into a very thin sheet. Paint on some green soft pastels to add detail. Cover a small knitting needle with baby powder, then cut narrow strips of clay. Then wrap a strip of clay around it, rolling it gently until you can remove it. Make three different shades of green. With the lighter shade, you can also roll some strips and then add more texture so they look like the white part of scallions. For the pork slices, make a base color by mixing pink, tan, and a lot of translucent, then roll it into a log and add smaller snakes of various shades of pink and red, all mixed with translucent clay. Then flatten it with your fingers folding it on itself multiple times to make the colors blend naturally. Once the marble effect is ready, split your clay into two balls. Mix a tiny bit of white with a lot of translucent for the fat. Place a slice of white between both balls of pink. Then wrap another snake of white all around your meat. Then roll it out until you have the right size to fit in your bowl. Cut it in half with the white line in the center of each piece. Texture the outside fat with a ball of aluminum foil. Then color it with reddish brown soft pastel. Then texture the pink with an exacto knife, giving it a sliding bowl. Cover a second identical bowl with aluminum foil and BB powder. Then roll a piece of scrap clay in more BB powder before pushing it in the bottom of the bowl. For the noodles, mix a lot of translucent with a bit of yellow and tan clay. If possible, use a clay gun or an extruder to make the noodle strands. Then one strand at a time, start shaping them by holding one end with one hand and giving it a twist with your other hand. Once you've twisted it, you can untwist some parts to make it more natural. Cover the scrap clay with TLS so the noodles will stay in place. Take all your noodles on the scrap clay base. Keep adding noodles until you can't see the base. For this step, take your time and listen to some music, a podcast, or some YouTube videos while you do it and just have fun with it. Then cover the end of a name holder with BB powder and insert it in your ramen, cutting the excess wire so it fits in the oven. Then bake all your elements for 30 minutes. Then remove the noodles and the metal wire and stick the white name holder inside a hole. Glue the noodle base inside the blue ball with tacky glue. Now mix your resin according to package instruction. Be careful not to inhale the fumes and protect your hands too. Mix both components completely for about 3 minutes. Let it sit for about 2 minutes, then blow out the bubbles with a straw. Mix in a lot of reddish brown pastels, some tan and light brown, 
adjusting the color until you get a beef broth shade. Now for the best part. Start pouring the resin in the bowl and all over the noodles. Then start sticking your pork slices by spreading resin on the bottom of each pieces. Then stick the egg the same way. Finally, add your slices of onion in the bottom right corner. Let your ramen sit for 12 hours. Then add a layer of flays. There you go! Now you have your own Ponyo inspired ramen note holder. Happy April Fool's Day! <laughs> I'm so happy to present to you Daddy Lightful! Thank you so much for accepting to be in this video and doing my voiceover too. I just had to have my dad over for a special April Fool's Day tutorial because when I was younger, I actually prepared this special day by spending the day or even days before cutting out so many paper fishes and I used to hide them pretty much everywhere in the house, in books, in the drawers, <laughs> in my parents' clothing, and on the morning of April Fool's, I would stick a fish on my daddy's back subtly. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you always knew that exact moment. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't very subtle. <laughs> so, But you were so sweet because you kept it on for most of the day. Yeah. You were most of the day at work, even though you had clients and even though the staff would even point it out, mm -hmm. he would still keep it on. So when he came back from work on that evening, he still had the fish in his bag. And I was so proud that my prank was successful. So we had great times and great moments with April's full day. And so I wanted to have you over for this special tutorial. So tell us in the comments if you'd like to see more Daddy Lightful in my next videos or some challenges. Maybe I'll we'll succeed in convincing him to start a new series on my channel. We'll see that. We'll see that. So have a beautiful day and, and God, God bless you. you. Bye. Bye. Have fun and here we... <coughs> so have fun and here we... Go. <coughs> oh, oh, that's cute. And, and God, God bless you. you. Oh my God. <laughs> in my video and doing art my <laughs> <Sorry, thank you. laughs> <Nope. laughs> <No. laughs>